And welcome to the Business God's Way podcast. My name is Jeff Elder, and I equip kingdom-focused entrepreneurs to build prosperous businesses for the purpose of advancing God's kingdom in the marketplace. Each week, you're going to learn actionable strategies and tips to help you build and grow your business God's way so you can truly become a kingdom-focused entrepreneur with impact. And hey, we just might have a little fun along the way. Let's dive in. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Business God's Way. I'm your host, Jeff Elder, and I appreciate you taking time to listen in to today's episode. I hope you're staying safe. Hope you are staying healthy. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to also just remind you guys, if you have not yet left a review for this podcast over on Apple Podcasts, I would would greatly appreciate that as it really helps spread the news of this podcast and it helps get it into the ears of other Christian entrepreneurs just like yourself. So again, thank you for tuning in. Today I want to share well i want to i want to talk about unforgiveness and i want to talk about kind of the dangers of it and i want to share a personal story that for myself that i recently had to talk to a friend of mine where there was some unforgiveness in my heart and I buried it for quite a while until it just got to the point where I knew it was not healthy for me to to keep it inside and so I needed to I needed to talk to this person and I needed to get it out into the open and I needed to ask forgiveness because um, it just it's not right and it just if we don't deal with with the things that people do to us and we don't deal with unforgiveness there are a lot of dangers that come along with that and so we need to really make sure that we are dealing with it quickly and in a way that pleases and honors God and so i want to talk about that today i want to talk about unforgiveness because I think not just in in our daily personal walk with the Lord, I, I think unforgiveness can also really steep into our business and cause some issues there as well. And so we need to really get a hold of this and we need to really learn how to um, how to deal with it. And I want to share a verse with you from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 31 through 32. It says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Now, I love this verse because it's telling us, first and foremost, it's telling us that we are to be kind to one another. We are to be tender-hearted towards one another. And the truth is, when we have anger and we have, or when we have unforgiveness in our hearts towards the person or persons who has caused a hurt, we will find it hard to be kind to that person or to be tender hearted to that person. And with my friend in my situation, I had unforgiveness in my heart because of some things that were said to me. And I want to make this point too. Sometimes 
sometimes unforgiveness is caused by it's caused by people doing something to us, causing some kind of pain, right? They they say something or they do something that is not kind. It, it causes pain. It causes hurt. And therefore, we have an option to either forgive or not forgive. But sometimes, especially in this situation, sometimes... We can get hurt because we misinterpret something that is being said, right? The person, the person didn't mean to hurt us or, or they didn't mean to maybe say the things that they did that caused the pain. But in either case, something is done to us, whether it's intentional or unintentional, sometimes those things can hurt. And sometimes those things could um, could just sit inside of us and they can just fester. And that is what was going on in, in this situation with me and my friend is it, it's not like I was being totally mean to this person and it wasn't like I couldn't be tender hearted toward this this person, but it was definitely harder for me to be kind. It was definitely harder for me to be tender hearted towards this person because this this unforgiveness was was sitting inside of me, and it's interesting because. This verse in Ephesians four thirty one through thirty two, I think, is a a very good picture or a progression of what unforgiveness does in us. Right? It says, "Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander and malice." By right? all of those things, when we are carrying unforgiveness in our hearts, we can become bitter. We can become anger. We can complain. We can seek out vengeance. We can say mean things to people. Right, all of these things, these emotions, these feelings, these actions are all a result of unforgiveness in our hearts. And I can tell you that again in, in, in my story, I was I was bitter, I was anger, uh, I was angry, and that stuff just it just sat inside of me. And there's a there's another reality to unforgiveness that comes into play here is is unforgiveness very often leads to health issues as well. They lead to health issues because we become so um, uh, so stressed out and, and so uptight and, and just this these emotions and these feelings and we can get depressed and and there's all these health dangers that come along with unforgiveness as well. Unforgiveness, my friends, is, is so, so danger, dangerous. Unforgiveness, it, it blocks our relationship even with the Lord. I mean, God even tells us in his word that as we forgive others, he will forgive us, right? And if we do not forgive others, it says that he will not forgive us. And that is huge. I mean, that is what God, that is what God teaches Right, he teaches us, you know, and, and he tells us 
that, you know, and, and that's in Matthew 6, he talks about that. He talks about, you know, in, in Matthew 6, he talks about, you know, if you do not forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. What? Like, that is massive. And so forgiveness, it, it, it blocks our relationship with God. It blocks our relationships with other people. It causes pain within us. It causes health issues within us. It causes us to, to become bitter and angry, to gossip, to seek revenge, all these things. And those things start to seep into our daily lives. They seep into our relationships. They seek into our or they seep into our business. And we become these these walking, pain filled, grief ridden, angry and bitter people that no one likes to be around. So we have to, we have to, we have to learn how to forgive. We have to, it's commanded. We are commanded by God's word to be people who forgive. And I know how tough that can be. I know some of you listening to my voice today you have been deeply hurt. You have been deeply wounded. You are walking around saying, there's no way I can forgive that person for what they did for me, uh, to me. There is no way. If you only knew, Jeff, if you only knew what this person did to me, you would tell me that I don't have to forgive. My friends, no, I get it. I get that your situation might be the toughest situation you've ever been through. But I can promise you this, that if you can get to the place where you are able to forgive people, you will be set free like, like nothing else. You see, unforgiveness, it's a prison. It's, a, it's, it's bondage, right? It's holding us back. It's, it's, it's not allowing us to live the free life that Jesus died for us for. He set us free. And when we carry this unforgiveness, it, it, it's painful. I know, I know you don't want to be walking around with, with the feelings that you have, knowing that you have not forgiven the person that you need to forgive. And I'm not saying it's easy, but what I am saying is that there is freedom that comes when you come to a place where you can truly forgive those who have hurt you. And I want I wanna us to look at the last part of Ephesians 4, verse 32. It says, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiven one another, and get this, listen, please listen to this. As God in Christ forgave you. As God in Christ forgave you. We have to take a step back. We have to realize that as Christians, one of the fundamental first steps that we had to take is to confess our sins to God. We had to accept the forgiveness that he bought for us 
on the cross. Jesus died on the cross to forgive us, to forgive our sins. My sin and your sin is what put Jesus on the cross. He died for us. The ultimate act of forgiveness was the crucifixion of Jesus, the death of Jesus. Jesus surrendered his own life. He gave it up freely for my forgiveness, for your forgiveness. He died. He forgave us. And yet, we don't forgive others. We don't forgive others. In light of the truth of the death of Christ for the forgiveness of sins, for our forgiveness, we are walking around not forgiving other people. And I think that's why... God takes this topic of forgiveness so seriously. I think that's why he says, if you forgive others, I'll forgive you. But if you don't, I won't forgive you. That is harsh. But but remember, I, I think the reason God is, is so adamant about that is because he knows, he knows what forgiveness cost him. It cost him his son's life. And so we have to get to a place where we are able to lay down our own lives, metaphorically, and forgive those who have hurt us, those who have sinned against us. We have to do this. First of all, because, because it's commanded Second of all, because there's a freedom that will come when you do that. There is a release that will come when you do that. There is a freedom. Knowing that you've been able to forgive somebody. That, that act of, of totally forgiving somebody, it, it, it's a cleansing it's a, it's a release of the anger and the bitterness, the slander, all of those things. Those things can start to fall away. They may not fall away right away, but you have a better chance of those things falling away after you've taken that first step, after you've gone to the person and said, you know what? You did this to me. It really hurt me. But I forgive you. I forgive you. So how do you do this? How do you get to the point of, um, uh, of forgiving somebody? And I want to take you through the three steps that, that I kind of went through as I, I knew that I had to approach my friend and I, I needed to share with this person that what they did to me, um, that they hurt me and, and that they didn't do it intentionally, but still, they hurt me. So what did I do? And may, maybe these three steps will help you. But the first thing I did was, was I had to decide. I had to decide. I had to make a decision. Am I going to let this thing eat me alive? Am I going to let this get in the way of this, this great, amazing friendship? Or was I just going to hold on to it? Or did I want to clear the air? Did I want to, to deal with this unforgiveness? And so I had to make a decision. I had to decide. And that's what I did. I decided that I'm going to talk to this person. I decided I, I, I needed to talk to this person. I needed to get this out into the open. 
And so that is exactly what I did. I called this person up. I said, hey, I need to, I need to really um, let you know something that I've been holding on to. And I, I decided, I decided to do something about it. The second thing I knew I needed to do was I needed to trust Jesus. I needed to trust. I needed his help. I needed the help of the Holy Spirit because I don't like confrontation. I don't like having to, um, to, to talk about these things because I don't know how it's going to be taken. You know, I have all these worries. And so I needed to, to trust. I needed to depend on God to help me, to help me be able to to say what I needed to say. I needed to to share and I I needed to let this person know that that I felt this way and that I I had unforgiveness towards this person, right? So I had to decide, I had to trust, I had to depend on God. And then finally, I just had to flat out obey. I had to obey. We are called to forgive. And so I had to obey that command. And once I decided that I needed to talk to this person, once I prayed about it and I put the trust, uh, I put, I trusted the Lord, um, to to guide the discussion, I knew I needed to be obedient and I needed to actually say the words to this person. And you know what? It worked. <laughs> we We talked. We worked it out. and and there is this this freedom now because of it. That relationship was was healed. And that wedge that was that was between us because of my unforgiveness was removed. And and here's another thing I want to share, especially in a situation like like the one that I'm sharing, because again, this person did not intentionally um, seek out to hurt me. They didn't. I just took it the wrong way. So this person had no idea. They had no idea that I was holding on to these things. Therefore, it was my responsibility to go to this person. And I think it's our responsibility no matter what, whether it was something that was done intentionally or something that was done unintentionally, I think we do have an obligation to go and make things right. We also have an obligation if we are the one causing the hurt, that that once we recognize it, we have an obligation to go and, and ask for forgiveness as well, right? Forgiveness, forgiveness. It's, it's the thing that cleanses everything. And we have to remember, we have to remember, the reason we forgive is because Christ first forgave us. That is the message of the gospel. That is why God takes this forgiveness thing so seriously. He wants us to forgive. Forgiveness sets us free. Forgiveness brings back a clarity of mind. It brings back joy. We are no longer people that um, other people don't want to be around anymore. And you can see how this can impact the business world too. If you're an entrepreneur walking around with, with unforgiveness and your life is ruined because of it, how do you think that's going to impact your business? Your employees, your clients. Unforgiveness is so dangerous, my friends. And we have to learn how to deal with it. We have to learn how to deal with it. And the good news, the good news is that we have the power of the Holy Spirit. 
able to enable us to forgive others. As painful, as hard as that may be, we need to be people who can forgive others. That today, my friends, is what was on my heart to share. Be people that can forgive. Be people that can forgive. Be people who who go out and seek forgiveness too. And we know that we were the cause of the pain in somebody else's life. Let us be set free. Let us be set free. That's today's episode, my friends. Hey, I'd love to, to hear your feedback on this episode. Um, if you have questions or comments, please reach out to me. Um, you can reach me over on my Instagram account. Uh, you can find me there at jeldera. I would love to connect with you over there. And again, if you haven't left a review for this podcast over on Apple Podcast, I would really appreciate it. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Hope you're doing well. And remember, as always, continue to do business God's way. God bless.